Hey guys, welcome back and today I'll be showing you how to install the latest version of Oxygen OS that is 4.0.3 on your uh, OnePlus 3T. So guys, yesterday they released an update on the uh, device OnePlus 3T and OnePlus 3. I don't have my OnePlus 3 so uh, most probably I'll be making a video on OnePlus 3 tomorrow. And uh, guys, uh, if you, you can receive that uh, update via OTA also but my device is rooted so I don't think so I'll receive an uh, I may receive an OTA but uh, I won't be able to uh, flash it because it's rooted and I have tried many times if your device is rooted and when uh, you download the OTA file it doesn't work your I get a boot lock so I won't be trying that so if you guys are not rooted and uh, you want the OTA as of now it is not available in India and if you guys want the OTA you can go to play store and from here you can download the VPN app you need to download Opera VPN once this is downloaded you open this app and uh, you need to change the region of this once the region is changed after that you can uh, select uh, Germany or uh, Canada you then after that you can uh, after installing that changing the region you can go to download uh, settings and check for the system update you'll get an OTA update it's somewhere around 93 or 100 MB file so I'm not doing with that because uh, my device is rooted and I know uh, it won't be helping me out so I have downloaded the zip file and if you guys want to download that zip file complete zip file you can download from the description below and if you guys also want to download the OTA file directly I have mentioned the link in the description below you can download from there and flash it via TWRP or the official stock recovery so I'll show you the file which I have downloaded and placed inside the internal memory so you can see this is the file that is uh, somewhere around 1.4 GB it's a complete a zip file one plus 3t oxygen so now I reboot my device to recovery So once a device boots into recovery, you can go to install and just check it whether it is available or not. Yes, it is there, OnePlus 3T Oxygen OS. So I go back here and I will be doing a complete wipe because I am using Freedom OS. Uh, still it is based on uh, Oxygen OS 4.0.2 but I don't want to take a chance. So I have done a complete wipe. I go back and I install the zip file. So once it is done, you can go back or you can click here, reboot your system, re reboot system and you see my device uh, again boots up into recovery. So I just power off the device by long pressing uh, power button. After this is done, I'll just press the power, uh, I'll switch on the device and use the volume button to click on restart. This is the same issue I am facing always so I think it's a TWRP issue. Not sure but we'll see what can be done. Uh, and you can see that uh, in this DM Verity also get triggered. So now uh, once the device boots up actually this uh, update I don't know it took almost uh, six, to, 6 to 7 minutes to boot up I don't know what is it other firmwares which we installed before just hardly took 3-4 minutes so I'll set up the device and once uh, setup is done I'll show you what all new things has been uh, included in this update so now it is done and so in settings you can see Oxygen OS version 4.0.3 and it is still based on Android version 7.0 the security patch is still December 1st 2016 
they have not included the latest security patch in the system so after going to this you can see in this uh, update and you can see what all the change logs uh, updated here in the official forum it says added Wi-Fi IPv6 support toggle so we'll just go to Wi-Fi and we'll see what is that so in settings you can see uh, it shows IPv6 support disabling IPv6 uh, can avoid compatibility issues with certain Wi-Fi routers so this is the thing which they have uh, included in this update uh, so we'll check on it uh, after a few hours of usage and we'll advise you what exactly uh, it is meant for so next is uh, optimize smart Wi-Fi switcher if turns on device will switch data uh, connection if Wi-Fi signal consistently poor so if you uh, enable this if your uh, Wi-Fi network is weak it, the phone will automatically switch to uh, data network so I'll keep it on as of now so next it says uh, fix crash for line so I'm not using line app so I won't be able to tell you guys increase stability of camera camera app so it is working properly as of now no issues with this so next it says uh, optimize exposure when taking nighttime photos i'll compare the photos with my night uh, with the photos which i have taken uh, on the earlier build that is 4.0.2 so i'll compare the photos with this new version what update they have released in this uh, rom so next it says uh, update audio parameter and improve the quality of audio recording so this one i'm not sure we'll check any other option is available in the sound settings audio settings so it is uh, inbuilt in the software which i won't be able to tell you now next is updated apn settings for selected carriers so it depends on the region to region uh, the next it says Amazon Prime app will be pre-installed so before this Amazon Amazon and Amazon Kindle is already installed in this now it says Amazon Prime also installed here you can see it is available Prime video so next is it says uh, known issues and fixes so Wi-Fi disconnect if you experience frequent Wi-Fi disconnection please go to the settings Wi-Fi configure Wi-Fi wi and you need to uh, disable the smart switch then it is IPv everything is given if you guys are facing any kind of issue here in the Wi-Fi you can and they also says if you experience Wi-Fi connectivity issues please send me a PM so let's see guys how does it work and what is the battery backup uh, on this room as of now we can't say anything because it is just now I have installed on the device we'll take another one or two days to update you guys what is a battery backup so that's all in this video guys uh, hope you like the video do subscribe to channel and don't forget to give a thumbs up thanks for watching